The other was the effect on human beings. If you can modulate a signal that, that the brain locks onto, recognizes, and, and begins to mirror or, or follow the frequency following response, the brain rhythms change, then it creates a chemical cascade within the brain and the emotions change. Now the resolution gets finer and finer and finer. And it used to just to be about triggering emotions. You could change people's brain chemistry pretty readily, change their emotional state pretty easily. But when you get down to the idea of thoughts and being able to manipulate those, that requires much a different kind of sophistication. Can we hear sounds without using our ears? Not only is it possible, says Begich, he can prove it using sound recorders, Brad Daw. So what I'm going to demonstrate is a um, earth pulse sound wave. And what this is, is an infrasound device. It's just a small electronic circuit that we run a CD player playing some Bach into our circuit and then comes out through two piezoelectric transducers. So I'm going to place these transducers on, on your face. You're going to block your ears tightly. We put those in contact with the skin and listen. Yeah. So what do you hear? I hear the music, yeah, loudly. Right in the center of their forehead, inside their head, they'll hear Bach, just like they would with their ears, but the ears aren't involved. It wasn't through my ears at all. It was basically, uh, it felt like kind of it was coming from the middle of my head, no direction, and uh, it was clear. So not through my ears at all, which is pretty cool. Now we can do this wirelessly with microwave. So there's lots of ways to do it, and this just is a very simple sort of uh, workbench model that gives the principle so people can understand yeah, you can really do it.